does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. Nor stand in the way of the sinners. Or see to the seat of the mockers. We are looking at the three things which will preserve the blessing of the Lord. Remain in your presence. Number one. If you want the blessing of the Lord to remain in your house, you need not to walk in the counsel of the wicked ones. The counsel of the wicked ones, his work is to hijack the blessing of God. Remember Daniel when his blessing was hijacked. King of Persia, the man prayed and fasted for 21 days until Michael came and hijacked the blessing. Which the king of Persia had already hijacked. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to preserve the blessing of the Lord, what you need to do, you need not to walk in the counsel of the wicked. Number two children of God. You need not even to stand in the way of the sinners. Amen. Because there is the way how how you can be you can be you can be milked by the devil. Amen. How the devil can evaporate you anointing. How the devil can, can hijack the blessing the Lord has given you. According to this book, David is telling us this time, we should not even stand in the gap of the sinners. Because somewhere, somewhere, So the moment you stand on the way of the sinners, if you don't change them, sometimes they may change you. So you need to be very intelligent to one of God. How to preserve the blessing of the Lord. You should not remain in their ways. All seed, number three, sit in the seat of the mockers. Sit in the seat of the mockers. That, that one, it milks, it milks up all your blessing. It evaporates all your blessing. The moment you want to preserve the blessing of the Lord, don't sit in the seat of the mockers. In most cases, born again, they are mocking their brothers and sisters. In most cases, they born again, they are sitting in the seat of the mockers. Whether men or women. Amen. But the Lord is telling us that a blessed man is he who does not sit in the seat of the mockers. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to remain with the blessing of the Lord, the one he has already given you, never sit in the seat of the mockers. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you say amen? amen. Say amen. amen. Those three things are very disastrous to the blessing given Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Children Amen. Of... Amen. So, ladies and gentlemen, learn how to preserve the blessing of God. Because the Bible says in the book of Matthew, let us run very fast. In the book of Matthew, chapter number 5, 
Beginning from verse number one. Jesus was teaching the crowd. Amen. You can read together with me. In the book of Matthew chapter number five. Verse number one. The Bible says. Now when he saw the crowd. He went up on Mount Sai. And he sat down. His disciples came to him. And he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in the spirit. Remember, I'm looking at what we call the blessing of the Lord. Now listen, this children of God. Jesus is teaching the crowd. Jesus is teaching restoration who was sent as a shield. How to preserve the blessing of the Lord. The Bible says, Blessed are the poor in the spirit. For theirs is in the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn. For they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek. For they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and search for righteousness. For they will be. Blessed are the merciful, for there will be sown Matthew. Blessed are the poor, for they will see God. Blessed are the, uh, are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who persecute persecuted because of righteousness for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This same children of God, Jesus is teaching the church to heaven. Blessed are, are, are the poor in the spirit. The word is refers to the well-being and the joy of those who because of their relationship to Christ and his word find their place in God's kingdom the benefits of word membership and include God's constant love. Care, graces, and spiritual salvation. So ladies and gentlemen, the first way for someone to be benefited, you need to be poor in spirit. I have already explained it. It refers to a well-being. So being poor in the spirit, it is one way which attracts the blessing of the Lord. Number two, it makes someone remain happy, remain happy. In the presence of God. Number three, it makes someone remain with a serious spirit of seeking the presence of God. You know, when you are poor physically, it will make you make more money. 
It will make you work harder as you look for the financial breakthrough. But the moment you realize that you are rich, physically, somewhere, somewhere, it may make you remain in the bed where the other poor people physically they are making money outside. And what do we learn from this text? Jesus was teaching us a serious spirit, a man who is a spirit of seeking for the presence of God, yearning, crying, and seeking the power of God. Can you shout hallelujah? So the moment you recognize and you discover yourself that you are in the spirit, it will make you remain on the strong foundation of the Lord, seeking the presence of God, walking not crookedly, on the, in the presence of God. Hallelujah. You know that many people are walking crookedly. They are not built on a strong foundation because they are not fully backed on a strong foundation. Now, church of the Lord, restoration was passed. Let us move back to the first church, the church of apostles. Let me tell you all, the church of apostles, there was unity. Preserve the blessing of the Lord. Number two, how to, how to preserve the blessing of the Lord. You need to keep on mourning. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The Bible says, Blessed are those who mourn, for oh, they will be comforted. Do you want to be comforted? Keep on your money. Hey, my father, my father, have you ever seen somebody mourning? It is a comfort. You need a comfort. Remain mourning in the presence of the Lord. So to mourn is to recognize and feel sorry of our own weakness in relation to God's perfect and standards and ultimate power. In the name of Jesus, may God bless you. Bless you so much. Receive a blessing of the Lord. Amen. Receive a blessing of the Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I yeah, receive the blessing of God. Bless you so much. Amen. 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 If you fail to recognize yourself, you will end up in sin. You will end up as a sinner. Do you know how people are sinning? It is because they don't recognize their weakness. Now tomorrow, refers to recognize and feel sorry. Over your own weakness in relation to God's perfect. Now I have brought what we call 
theologian now in the church of God. I'm teaching now theology. Come on, wherever you are. Praise the name of the Lord. So you need to recognize your weakness in the Lord. All of us, we are weak people. But we recognize our mistakes. Our sin that is right. And we send our Father. Forgive us. Forgive me. Forgive me. I have been walking crooked in it. Amen. I mean, but if you don't recognize yourself, if someone says, please, sister, you have gone astray there. Ah, ah. Pastor, please, why are you telling me this? Papa, I can't. Amen. Amen. In most cases, children of God, if we want to remain with the blessing of the Lord, let us keep on recognizing our weakness. Let us feel sorry in every area of our life. One day, we shall reach to our God. Where we are going. Where we are going. Your name will be among the number. I like that song. For those who are on Google, you can go and Google that song. We are marching. We are marching. And we need our name. To be among the number. 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 You know that song. I need my name to be a man in our hands. Hey, Sister Sandra, come and eat. Oh, come on. Do you know it? I've heard you sing it. Yes, you, you are. It is on Google. It is on YouTube. Are you YouTube? At least, do you know? Do you have some MBs? Yes. You have MBs. Look for search for us that song. I just tell her you want to ask to cousin. Finally, we will give it to us. We need to be among the number. We need to be among the number of the blessed people. We need to be among the number of the successful people. People who are people who are vital in the community. People who fear sin. People who does not insult others. Once people to recognize themselves. Number three, you have to preserve the blessing of the Lord. You need to be meek. This does not simply suggest all meekness. It means, or to be meek, are those who are humble and submissive to God. They depend on nothing but him for security. In life and refuge from trouble. They commit themselves and direction of their lives entirely to him. They are more concerned about God's work. Who are the meek people? These are the people who take concern to God's work. Why can you repeat this work? Meek people 
We say loud voice, come on. Hey, when other people are seeing you. Amen. Amen. Me who are meek people. These are the people. Remain stand on the before stand. Yeah, stand for that speaker. Uh -huh. So that everybody can listen to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Who are meek people? These are the people who take concern to God's work. Hallelujah. The man is making an oath. These are the people the who take concern to God's work. They don't make the work of God fail. They play the king of all the time for the first seven. A pure and deep relationship with God. By trying themselves to develop the rest of the character's traits. You know, Jesus described this. The foundational requirement for all godly living. Amen. 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 Am
is to hunger and thirst for righteousness. Praise Amen. Thirst for righteousness. One day Jesus said in Matthew 633, seek first the kingdom of God. Other things have been added unto you. Sente, marriage, everything is added unto you. In Jesus' name. Because of time, let us end here by looking how to keep the blessing of God. Amen. Because of time, hallelujah. How to keep the blessing of the Lord. To keep the blessing of God. You need daily observance of quiet time. Every morning. You need to adore yourself the Lord. You need to praise and worship the living God. Another one, the a special time for deep communion with God. The problem you are not working. Quiet meditation on the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. There is what we call quiet med meditation to the word of God. Somebody is busy meditating. He's in the presence of the Lord. Sometimes, when I'm riding my, my small, 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 small motorcycle, sometimes I will mean, pass people without recognizing them. Why? I'm meditating. Somebody doesn't know what is happening. Somebody is looking at me while driving. But Kumbe, at the end, my soul, my soul says yes, says yes, says yes. Amen. My soul says yes. My soul, my spirit, my life is my is my father. I'm telling you to the Lord. You need to keep on meditating. Day and night. Another point is to regular worship with the people of God. You need to worship with the people of God. Some people say, even worshiping at all. It is okay, but you need some time. Yes, it is okay. You need to worship the Lord at home. But the Bible says, where three or four, where two or three can be the meetings. You need to let your worship be the people of God. Amen. When we are worshiping, Living God, there is the flow of the Holy Spirit. There is the flow of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Another one, a conscious daily walk with the with the Lord. Amen. It's a daily walk with the Lord. It concerns the spirit to walk with. You walk with the Lord in wisdom and in knowledge. And constant practice of taking every problem to God. All your problems, take them to God. You had no sword, you prayed to God. 
It's God who does all my Somebody followed with me. Somebody gave me a stone. He bring it to God. Amen. Amen. So don't stone someone. When someone has stoned you. When someone stones you, just pick the stone. Run with it. Bring it to God. I'm telling you, God will fight for you. Learn to bring all your problems to God. Brother Mugugu this morning has come with his problem. After they learned that he has sold five million ceilings. At Mamuru, now at night they came for him. But now God has helped you. They have not taken your money. Those who are, they were not serious. According to me, they were not serious. God had sent for you the angels to awake you up that you have stolen his ties. So, go back home. You bring the percentage of God to him. God sent for you angels. Hallelujah, why did they not take your money? God who had sent for you angels. Jesus, children of God. We need to walk a walk 